Greetings again from the Great White North. Today we start with what I like to call My 12 Days of Christmas with a themed adventure in Woodland Valley at the Big Blue House. This is the first of three Christmas themed books I will be reading to you all this month from Bear called Bear's White Christmas. Now, every book I read, regardless of the month, is dedicated to my granddaughter Izzy. But especially everything I read this month is in celebration of her very first Christmas. So let's get to it and follow along with Bear, Ojo, Tutter, Pip and Pop, and Shrilo on these great Christmas adventures. And as always, here we have only the finest quality children's stories read by the finest quality narrator. Just kidding. But the stories are fantastic and hopefully you will enjoy these renditions. Welcome to the Blue House. Hello from the small mouse. Things to do. Fun for you. Howdy from the big bear. Want some fun? Here's where. Just for you. All is new. In the house of blue. Lots of room at our house. Catch the moon at our house. Kitchen's here. Bathroom's there. Attic full of stuff here. It was Christmas Eve at the big blue house. The cold wind whistled through the trees. Dry leaves danced down the path, but there was no snow. Ojo looked out the window and sighed. Inside, the smell of baking wafted from the kitchen. Ojo came away from the window to finish decorating Christmas cookies. I'm going to leave some of these cookies for Santa, she told Tutter, and I'll put out some carrots for the reindeer. I'm going to put out some of these cheese straws for Santa too, Tutter said. He glanced toward the window. This time, Tutter sighed. He'd been looking out the window for signs of just one snowflake. But still there were none. In the living room, Bear was helping Trilo decorate the tree. Bear reached up on his tippy toes to fasten the star to the top. Trilo scrambled through the lower branches hanging garlands. He stopped for a moment to look out the window. He sighed loudly. He imagined wrapping a fuzzy scarf around a snowman's neck. Pip and Pop were hanging mistletoe. How does this look, Pip? asked Pop. Pretty good, Pop, replied Pip, sighing. Both otters looked out the window and tried to picture themselves racing down a snowy hill on a sled. Come on, everyone, Bear called out to all his friends. Let's sing some Christmas carols before we go to bed. Bear began singing. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Trilo, Ojo, Tutter, Pip and Pop joined in quietly. Fa la 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 la. And then all at once everyone sighed heavily and stopped singing. Bear stopped too. What is the matter, everyone? I've never heard such gloomy fa la la's before. Why are you all so sad? We want a white Christmas, a white Christmas, said Tutter. No snow, no snow, said Trilo. What if Santa brings me a new sled, but there's no snow on the ground to go sledding, said Ojo. Pip and Pop hurried to the front door and opened it. A cold, wintry blast of air swept into the room. See, said Pip, it's cold outside. But what fun is the cold if it's not snowy too, added Pop. Everyone sighed together. Now, now, Bear said soothingly. I'm sure we can have a great Christmas without snow. I think the best part about Christmas is being with those you love. Everyone looked at one another. Ojo was the first to smile. Bear is right, she said. Let's go finish singing carols. Soon it was time for bed. Before turning in, Bear headed up to the attic and opened the shutters. Merry Christmas, Luna, he said to his friend. Merry Christmas, Bear, said Luna. Luna, 
Do you think we'll have any snow for Christmas this year? asked Bear. Luna smiled down at her friend. We'll just have to wait and see, but I know that the holidays in the big blue house will be wonderful, no matter what the weather. You're right, said Bear. He said good night to his friend and headed off to bed. Early the next morning, Ojo was awakened by a sound. She rubbed her eyes and sat up. Could that noise really have been the tinkle of a sleigh bell? Downstairs in the warm kitchen, Tutter also woke up. Had that been someone saying ho ho ho? Pip and Pop sprang out of bed. Trilo bounded toward the living room. Wake up, Bear, called all the friends. It's Christmas! Bear came into the living room. Sure enough, Santa had come and gone. Bear looked out the window. There was no snow. Merry Christmas, everyone, he said, opening his arms to give them all a big bear hug. Who wants to open some presents? Everyone in the big blue house was delighted with the presents. Bear especially loved the beautiful picture his friends had made for him. Let's sing some Christmas carols, Ojo suggested, after every last present had been opened. Then, suddenly she stopped and stared. Everyone turned to see what she was staring at. Look, 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 called Trilo, pointing out the window. A single snowflake wafted down from the sky. It was followed by another, and another. It's snowing, cried everyone at the same time. By late in the afternoon, a blanket of snow covered the ground. Everyone in the big blue house bundled up and went outside to play. Snow, snow, said Trilo. This has been the best Christmas ever, said Ojo as she made a snow angel. Later that night, Bear told Luna, You were right. Holidays at the big blue house are always wonderful, no matter what the weather. But, he added, it was sure nice to have a white Christmas this year. Luna just beamed down at him and said, Merry Christmas, Bear. <laughs>